to your health and an important alert about a fungus that is spreading across the country. That fungus is causing a debilitating and deadly lung infection called histoplasmosis. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with more on what it is. Yeah, I'm sure that you heard about this happening nationwide. This was really just once only thought to impact areas around the Ohio and Mississippi River Valleys. Now new research shows that it is popping up in every single state. And the worst part is it could go misdiagnosed for years. It was everything. I, it was more than I thought it was going to be. For 25 years, John Meyer lived and breathed firefighting until something he breathed in while on the job almost destroyed him. I was at a fire and I was inside and I was pulling ceilings down. Local doctors said it was his gallbladder and then he was told lung cancer. You body. always described it as like your body felt like it was crushed. Finally, a team at Washington University School of Medicine diagnosed John with histoplasmosis, a fungal infection caused by breathing in spores from fungi, often caused by bat guano. It's one of the most understudied uh, diseases in, in infections. Researchers found that the fungus histoplasma has expanded from here to here. Outdated maps led to outdated information. Up to 90% of people are first misdiagnosed. I've seen patients misdiagnosed uh, with really everything from rheumatoid arthritis to lupus. John was treated with an antifungal and oral medication. Six years later, he still says he's only back to 50% of what he was. But for Mary, just having John here is enough. I am so happy and blessed that he's still here. Because at times, we didn't think he would make it. Sudden so. weight loss is also a key sign of histoplasma, as well as low blood counts in white and red cells and in the platelets. Also, patients can experience pericarditis where their heart has trouble beating. Yeah, so. and this isn't something that you want to be misdiagnosed with, right? right. Doctors and have to I take don't a deep think dive that, here. Yeah, I don't think that a lot of doctors would look at this first, you know, because yeah. it's just now, we're just now starting to realize that it's spread across the country. It's definitely good to bring that up just in case sure. when you go to the doctor. Yeah. All right, Haley, thank you.